Hi, I'm Erica Farber, President and CEO of the Radio Advertising Bureau, and I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. Now, earlier this month, you may have seen in radio sales today that your RAB was out and about at the 50th anniversary of CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Now this latest RAB at Work Q report is a compilation of our experiences at CES, and it's meant to provide you with an overview of the technologies and trends shaping the future, and specifically, what it means for radio. Technology is advancing at a mind-numbing pace. Hello, I'm Jeff Schmidt along with Dave Casper at the Consumer Electronics Show for 2017 in Las Vegas. The difference between CES 1967 when it began and now its 50th anniversary can't even be described. Over the next few days, over 20,000 new products will be launched right here at CES. I think what we've seen when it comes to technology is that we give up the things that we don't really want to control. Uh, if you look at the most rudimentary innovations, whether it's dishwashers or washing machines and dryers, those were things that we wanted to expedite in our, in our lives. They were necessities that we, we had to do them but didn't really love to do them. And so we allowed innovation to come in and take over those chores for us. I think we're going to continue to allow innovation and ultimately technology to take over chores for us if it means that it improves our lifestyle and improves the way that we, we live and ultimately allows us to spend more time doing the type of things that we want to do, spending time with our family, friends, focusing on careers, uh, and those type of things. We've collaborated with Amazon to create, using AppLink, this Alexa app, which essentially turns your car into a driving echo. So what you do, once you sign in with your Amazon profile on the app, you've got all your preferences, you have all your saved Internet of Things devices, um, your calendar, all of that, and then at that point, you can use the push to talk button and interact with Alexa to do anything you'd want to do at home. So what you do, you can press the push to talk, Alexa, find Starbucks nearby. And then so this is a bit of a hybrid of a collaboration between Amazon and between Ford. So what we have here, now you can see a Starbucks coffee has showed up on the screen. So Alexa's given us the address. And at this point, we at Ford can click on that. And then we have the option to send it to our embedded navigation unit. So once we press start, now we're driving to Starbucks. At yesterday's Tech Trends to Watch, CTA Chief Economist Sean Dubravik cited AI as one of this year's most important themes. It makes a lot of sense when you consider the Internet of Things and the trend that forecasts 50 billion connected devices by 2020. Smart devices, devices infused with AI, play a crucial role. Listen to David Hurd. He's the CEO of the Telecommunications Industry Association. Well, if you think about all those devices connected and all those bits of data, you don't have enough people to be able to analyze all that, nor enough time in real time to make decisions. Right. So if you think about it, uh, taking, uh, taking artificial intelligence to be predictive um, and take humans out of the equation to make networks smarter, devices smarter, applications smarter, ultimately makes our lives better. This is a radio that's universal to just about any car that's out there. This radio that we show here uh, is a full featured radio with a full 8 inch uh, screen, touch screen, with hard buttons and keys so it makes it very easy for the user to use. HD radio, Cirrus XM built in, uh, Pandora built in, uh, full navigation as well, Navigo navigation built in. So I put the turn signals on over here and we can see it turns to our side view uh, while you're driving down the road. And then a lot of people travel with uh, trailers and so forth, so we can look at trailers, the rear of the trailer, inside the trailer, a lot of different options. You know, we are judged based on how we are able to connect our content to our communities, right? And, and some of the upstream components of this, some of the optical recognition and facial recognition and voice and skin monitoring and that's available in vehicles, imagine being able to get that data, know when they hear a commercial or they're, how they react to a song or how they react to a, a, a jock or how they react to a product or, I mean, the value of that data in terms of helping us to our, be great at our jobs is amazing to me and, it, and it's, it's, it's mind blowing at, at one level but it is, it's so encouraging and uh, uh, going forward, it's great. So it sounds like overall this has been a great experience. It's, it's absolutely home run. It, it begins with ideas and there's some of the craziest things you'll ever see or hear in your life in these buildings. But uh, uh, going forward for the business that we are in, it's, it's tremendous. It really is. Now. We're exhausted from our week here, but totally exhilarated too. Connectivity, 
mobility, 5G, and so much more. We believe it's important to be at CES to see for ourselves the latest and most interesting products and trends in the consumer electronics space, and then share what some of the implications could mean for advertising and media. The RAB will be continuing to be passing along our learnings to help you in your daily selling efforts and to provide context as to what's influencing our industry. As always, we appreciate your input as to what you're interested in learning more about. So until next time, happy selling, and my wish for you in 2017 is for you to have a very profitable new year. So we're off to the airport, and check out my friend Frederick as he drives us. That's amazing. <laughs> so the car's doing that all by itself. Yes, exactly. Because... Wow. Sensing the front vehicle, sensing the lanes, where the road is going, and it's driving by itself. 